Hey everyone, Ending here for some more Lord of the Rings Online. This is once again the time to make our way back into Lotro. I hope all of you are excited. I know I am. Because today we get to face some half-orcs. And also, we rearranged our office. We now have uh, the void gone from behind us. And uh, instead have randomly part of a door right right here and also a window over goodness pointing um over there <laughs> so yeah anyway bingar what's up the entire plot hinges to your right <laughs> literally <laughs> oh my goodness All right <clears throat> So, what I'm wondering is how they decide that they're only half an orc. Like, I'm sure there's a doctor somewhere that knows the answer, but like... I get it's probably, you know, mother one side, father the other. But what if, like, you're a half orc, but you're, you're totally 100% orc? <laughs> like... Oh my goodness. Read the dev diaries? No, I, I haven't. What? I read the um, letter from the uh, one of the developers. I keep wanting to call it the producer's letter, but it's not, because they're not a producer. Man, we're owning all these networks. I mean, I know we're over leveled and all, but still. Easy. We didn't even have to get anywhere. Wow. This is probably one some mighty fortress. See, I don't have a captain or a warden, so that's why I don't read. <clears throat> I promise, teacher. I would have done my homework if I could use it in the real world. Won't you lend me your aid? Time to create a captain and warden class. So the reason I don't have a captain is because I um, uh, don't like how they changed it originally. I loved doing the buffing. The buffing was my favorite part of captain and they took that away. Now it's just like all automatic and nobody has to press any buttons. I miss the days when it took 20 minutes to buff another player and they would be, like, stupid buffed. And players would be like, oh, we're ready to go in now? I'm like, no, I got, like, eight more buffs for you. And they'd actually wait because the buffs were so stinking good that they'd wait for you to buff them. It was awesome. And then they took it all away. And I was sad. And then Warden, I'm just lazy and haven't actually made one. Um, the main reason I didn't play a Warden for uh, most of the game is because I knew if I created one, I'd probably step away from it a bunch. And remembering those hotkeys after you're gone from it a long time, I hear is very challenging. <clears throat> if it was my main, I would have made a Warden, but chose champion instead because I didn't even have uh, warden at the time because I didn't have Moria. Back in my day we had to buff uphill both ways just to get to Isengard. Now the orcs just take the hobbits there. <laughs> oh my goodness. You fought admirably. I don't think that's a Dunlending voice. But you know what? We're doing it anyway. Yes. I kept a close eye on you. There have been some who have tried to betray us. Oshin has kept my people alive thus far. We shall stay here for a bit longer and continue watching the half-orc activities. If you can, please let Rhydrock know what has happened. You bet, Dunlendings.
I don't know why, but I just had a random thought about a half orc and then like half orc, half minotaur. All horse. <clears throat> I don't know. It's a really dumb idea. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk to this person over here. Hold! Stay where you are! <laughs> you seem to be that man. Oh, wait. <laughs> you do not seem to be like the men I have seen occupying Nimbath. Burl sent you, did he? I am indeed Seor Liel. I have not yet returned because I have been seeing riders coming and going from the fortress at all hours. They must be the means by which orders are delivered to the orcs in Tharbad. You look like you could handle your, you can handle yourself. If you come across one of these riders, take them down and bring me my correspondence. Right, your correspondence, yes ma'am. All that. Buffy buff. Man, this music. So good. A reminder of her. This necklace, which you found on a defeated half orc, must have been taken as a trophy for some from someone recently. The materials that were used to craft the necklace are clearly not local. To your knowledge, the only people who have come to Nimbath are Merona and her scouts, who keep watch outside the ruins. It might be worth asking her if she recognizes the necklace. There we go, completing deeds left and right, front and center. Let's go. Was a convincing fly noise. Whoever, whatever dev made that fly noise, deserves a raise. If it was actual fly, well, they're probably dead. We are all devotees in these lands. Yes, I know who the owner is. The half orcs must have taken it off Riederick when they captured him. If you'd like to return it to him. He should still be resting at the camp near Tharband, southwest of here. Well. First, we must collect orders from riders. Jeez. Goodbye. Oh dang, they have half-orc fighters now? That's kind of awesome. They have like their own brawler, brawler enemies. That's pretty cool. We are just Mike Tysoning it up right here. One punching all these fools. Um, of course we fought a rider earlier, but now we're like, um, uh, rider? I don't know what a rider is. There's no rider here. John Connery, looking for a rider. <clears throat> that sounds like a euphemism when I say it. Oh my. Goodbye, half -orc. Anyone, anywhere, no. <laughs> a rider when you see him. I bet this would be beautiful during the daytime. Wow, there are like no riders in the whole camp. I keep wanting to call this place Nimbarf. It's not, it's Nimbarth. Uh, 
Let's see. Maybe that way? Oh yeah, that way. There we go. <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. We just, <laughs> just one punch the warg and he's like, orders, here you go. Oh my gosh. So I'm guessing that's where we need to go for the Tharbad thing. For the necklace. And this elf is somewhere over here. Some, did you? Well then, let's have them here. The missive you recovered is troubling. Wait. Isn't it crazy that this is like a level 20 quest, whereas like the area we were in was like level 16 or something ridiculous like that? The orcs in Tharbad have noticed Stone Crop's group not calling for reinforcements. I mean to attack soon. I think we can use this to our advantage. Here's what you can do. Here's where you come in, rather. <laughs> I have rewritten the orders to say that we are not a threat, and to ignore our presence. A few of the other missives now have wording that I am sure will stir chaos and confusion with the goal of having those at Nimbath start to question the orcs at Tharband. It won't hold them off for long, but possibly long enough for us to plan our next moves. Go to Nimbath and plant these orders where someone in charge may discover them. Plant like in the ground? We go. I hope that whenever we go to Umbar, we get a boat and the devs don't make us swim. Could you imagine if it's like, you need to start swimming to Umbar? Eight hours later, we're still swimming. They're buffing the hobbits in Isengard, in Isengard, in Isengard. They're buffing, they're buffing, they're buffing. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Aha! A place to plant orders. Yes. Ooh. Oh, one out of five. Oh my gosh. Alright, well, we'll place. We'll not only place the other orders, we'll place them well. With our one punches. Do we want a boat with performance similar to Warsteeds? Or do we want an NPC captain boat? Captain by Jax. Personally? I'd want us to get down there from a story perspective on like a major, you know, vessel captained by Jajax. But once we're down there, I don't want like war steed speed mount, boat mount. I want just like a regular speed, like a horse mount basically, but on the water. Not a war steed, but just a regular horse mount. But on the water. A water horse, if you will. <laughs> just give me a water horse. Ah. 
Perwethian, what's up? Perwethian, you'll always be my queen. Alright, let's continue along this way. The stairs. Well. Even the speed, I'm worried about performance issues related to boats. Good Wars 2 did them pretty well. Yeah, I think if you just do them as a regular mount, you're fine. Because how is that any different than, like, a player swimming in the water? Like, have, you know, the major, like, warship that Jajax is taking around. And have us, you know, get out and get into, like, our little, uh... They could have, uh, that, that's how we're introduced to it. You, you, you right click on, um, a lifeboat or whatever you want to call it, you know, a rowboat out of the, the main ship. And that's when you get your, your little boat mount. And it wouldn't, in theory, it wouldn't cause any extra performance issues. If you, um, if it was just a regular speed boat, not a... Not as fast one. In theory. Oh my gosh, what are you even throwing at me? Goodness. And I like how we had to fight like a million people in here. And it's like, oh man, nobody's going to notice <laughs> the 30 dead guys and the carefully placed <laughs> orders. There's like a sea of dead people, and then like just some orders just like sitting down. <laughs> like what the heck? But don't worry, nobody will notice. <laughs> oh, Lotro logic, I swear. Here's the thing, Mafungo. They don't have to have a purpose. They can be purposeless. Purposeless boats. We don't need a purpose for our boats. We just need the boats. Why do we need them? We can't answer. But we sure do want them. Because then... I can take my boat, and I can go down to, like, um, the ferry in the Shire. And start ferrying across players on my little boat all day. In an RP sort of way. And I'd just be a ferry operator in the Shire from henceforth <laughs> and forevermore. <laughs> that would just be my game in Lotro. I'd just be the little hobbit ferry guy. Yes, porpoise. Yes, yes. Thank you for that. Zero dolphins were harmed Thank in the making you of this for post. what you have done here. You have given the people of Cardolan more than more of a fighting chance to be sure. Well, that's great. Cuz I'm a brawler, so I want to give them a fighting chance. She's speaking my love language chat. It might be time to propose. She's got a smile. I'm just saying. If there could be half orcs, there could be half hobbits, right? Really enjoying the sun. It depends on the half. <laughs> oh no. Half of a hobbit is like a foot. A foot tall. 
like. Love language, oh my gosh, Queen. Not that way. Ah, definitely not that way. Oh no. Oh my gosh, we did it. Hot potatoes on rye bread, we made it. Got a long way to go. We probably should have gone up there instead. It might have been faster, but you know, we're on an all terrain horse, so it's fine. We had an all terrain boat. Oh my gosh, forget giving us boats. Give us like the duck vehicles that you see in Florida that can go from like uh, sea to land. Oh my gosh. Basically, I'm wanting a horse that can swim with a rider on it. Please and thank you. You know, the special swimming horses of Middle-earth. There's got to be one somewhere. I mean, if Shadow Facts exists, anything's possible, right? Do unicorns walk on water? Now I'm just asking random questions just that are equestrian related. But you know, it's fine. It's fine, chat. I promise. I'm thinking clearly. <clears throat> Who am I kidding? Huh. I never realized that you could see Tharbad from this coast. I don't know why he wouldn't have been able to, but... Interesting. We're not going there. We're going in this direction. We're going... I don't think this... Yeah, Mossward's back in Swan Fleet, right? Yeah. Mossward. The French outpost here in middle <clears throat> You also, oh my gosh, rocks. Half orcs here too. Jeez, they're everywhere. An anti shadow facts? The opposite of shadow is light. What's the opposite of facts? Email? Oh my gosh, we need light email. really doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Oh my gosh, we got a warg. Seen better days. Goodness. Right. <laughs> My necklace. I didn't think I'd see it again. To tell you the truth. The loss of my necklace pained me more than my actual injuries. It's all I have left of our Dunland. Perhaps I'll return home one day. I hope so. Everyone is safe then. <laughs> and the half-orcs have been dealt with. 
Eh, this is excellent news. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Well, <laughs> I jest. It was a wager. But the odds were in my favor. After all, there must be more good in the world than bad. Riddick's smi smile widens. Thank you. Hey, we got something. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but we got something. Friend to the Dunlin, friend to the Dunedain of Cardolan. Right now we're the Defender of Swan Fleet. It's kind of a very long title. I think Defender of Swan Fleet's a little bit better title. Ten Lotro points. Oh man, we're rich. All oh, that. Okay, uh, now we need to go at least to Hearn. Maybe all the way up there. I think Hearn's closer to that. Man, I want to go to Sarn Ford so bad. Oh my gosh. We might take a field trip to Sarn Ford today, chat. Hello there. It might happen. Scout out our fairy dreams. Buckleberry fairy. Isn't it weird that the juxtaposition between the two definitions of fairy, like absolutely wonderful, delightful, mystical creature, or disgusting, awful way to get across a river. <laughs> Like, the opposite of fairy is fairy. My <laughs> horse has a little, uh, little stripe there. It's a racing stripe. That's what makes the horse go. Oh my gosh. wasn't raining today. This zone is so beautiful when it's not raining. Even at nighttime it looks good. So apparently they're building yet another instance of Gondor. <laughs> That's a whole lot of Gondor as non Donless Day Gondor. And I'm just wondering, like, what if when we get there, it starts to rain? <laughs> Goodness. Oh my gosh, the NPCs just loaded in. Okay, we have a choice. We can go through Ruddy Moor to get to Sarn Ford. Which I'm kind of tempted to do. Hello there. Yeah, we need to go there just to unlock the stable, if nothing else. Here we go, on a field trip! You've never done content in the Beacon Hills? You've always been overleveled and can't see the quest? So, Mofungo, there's a setting in options that lets you still see under level quests. Um, just Google it and Google will tell you how. But there's a setting somewhere in the uh, options of Lotro um, to where you can see under level quests. It's a game changer, I'm telling you. Hmm. Um, do we want to take the scenic route? It's raining, so probably not. I 
after all, we have an all-terrain horse. Ooh, an all-terrain mount, an ATM, and it's time to cash this buddy in. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> it must be late at night. What's up? Just realized you look like Evergold. Well, thank you. Did you grow out your hair? Oh my gosh. Now, see, now there's gonna be like photoshops of me as Aragorn. This is not okay. No, I, I, it'd be cool. It'd be cool, I think. Be an Aragorn, maybe. Aside from, you know, the unbelievable amount of pressure. <laughs> and expectations of an entire kingdom, but other than that, it'd be cool. Well, apparently it's gonna send us back to the road. But not if I can help it. Oh man, why is it gotta be raining? This has to be beautiful through here. Ending would look good with long hair. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping there would be content to take me there organically. That never happened. You may screw up the settings now. Well, there is a story. Like, there is a story that takes you there. I don't remember how, but there is. I'm telling you. We're headed the right way. This is a non level, uh, over leveled area. Man, we must be getting close to the Shire with that music. Pretty hip riding music right here. Oh my gosh. What can I do for you? Why is there a ranger on the border of the Shire? Oh my gosh, there's more than one. Will you aid us? That's on level. This is probably where we're going next, is my guess. I'm wanting to go to the Shire just to see where it takes us. Oh, it's a teleport. Lame! But where does the port of Tele take us? You know, we, we could go ahead and do our uh, brawler quest here, if we did that. That might be what we do, is go on a, go on a vacation. Where does this take me to? Oh. So until they get the south farthing, that's where that goes. Okay. Wow. So we have to go literally to the other end of the Shire. Oh my goodness. Buckle up, chat. It's going to be a trip. The Shire looks so much more beautiful than I remember. Road trip! The South Farthing Gate.
Hey, it stopped raining. Well, mostly. I'm excited. We're going to find out some brawler class specific story stuff. It should be really good. day, isn't it? There we go, got the stable. Make our way on up to the hill. Passed by water bridge. There's just something about the Shire that just... Magical man. And I love how the campfires are left. For those that don't know, I don't think that's one of them, but there are campfires that signify the uh, journey of. Uh, of Frodo and Sam and the Fellowship. It's actually kind of cool. They're at least all the way to Rivendell, and I think they might even go. That's how forest fires start. True. Um, I meant to go to Hobbiton proper. Hobbiton. <laughs> Bag in proper. The old oak tree. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Continue along. can't wait for the scouring. Not that I want to see the Shire be destroyed or anything, but man, it's going to be crazy. Because I think a lot of people don't realize just how bad the scouring really was. Like, the Peter Jackson movies definitely don't do it justice, because, well, they don't actually cover it at all. But, like, stuff gets, like, I mean, it... At one point, they literally say it's worse than Mordor. Like, it's... it's bad. How many sheep are there in a town? Oh my gosh. Maybe all these sheep are causing lag. Did you think about that? Lotro servers? 
she didn't. <clears throat> oh, this is literally just the skirmish quest. Talk to the skirmish captain. Well, where are you, captain? Hey, there we go. What do you need? Please, stay a moment. I have a situation of urgent attention. Oh my gosh. You gotta help us. Hey, let's do it. While war raged in the south and the rangers of the north were absent, Brigands and ruffians took an opportunity to wrest control of Bree. A great war is beginning, and the battles to be fought will be great and perilous. You will not survive alone. Fortunately, there are soldiers of the Free Peoples willing to fight by your side. If you call them, they will aid you. Use the horn here. Learn the skill it possesses. Then call forth a soldier to aid you in retaking Bree. Such a good voice. Oh my gosh. Good. Now use your new skill and call forth a soldier of the Free Peoples. Very good. Now let me share with you the plan of how you're going to reclaim Bree. Skirmishes against the enemy focus on taking and controlling locations of value and importance around the battlefield. In reclaiming Bree, these locations are the South Gate, the Auction House, and Bill Fanny's home in that order. The gate is well protected, but your soldier will aid you in the battle. If he falls, simply call for another by reusing the skill you learn. If not for my arm, I would be at your side as well. Oh yes, of course. Now go and reclaim Bree. At least here's an excuse. Our soldier is still just like back there, it's stuck. Level up. Punching them away. Level 22. A counter attack. House taken. There we go, there we go. The inhabitants of Bree have spent the occupation holed up within the Prancing Pony. Angered at their uprising, the brigands have decided to burn them out. You will need a stronger ally for this foray. There are many ways soldiers can be trained and outfitted for battle. For what? Archers, warriors, protectors, sages, 
bannermen and herbalists are all willing to answer your call. For this battle, a warrior will be to our best advantage. Will? Tom, come out here for a moment. Yes, speak well, to Will, brawler, purchase the so want... warrior role trait. Then speak to warrior, Tom and anyway. complete the soldier's training. Very good. A warrior will increase our offensive capability and allow us to cut through waves of enemies. Will, Tom, Let's get go. back inside. Waves we'll of enemies. This. I don't know about Prepare that, buddy. Yourself, I think you're... Friend. I don't know yeah, what warrior you've approach. been working with, I but... believe we have a moment of respite before their assault continues. The enemy employs a number of terrible lieutenants, specially trained enemies with unique skills. It is difficult to know which lieutenants march with the enemy until they arrive on the battlefield. He pronounces I lieutenant caught a Sorry, glimpse of a large orb. Big Ed, what's response. up? Coming with the Coke Be Zero raid. It could come How's it going, time. everybody? Having a good night? What were you up Here to? Here they come again. Can we get a to shout arms. out for Big Ed. There we go. There we go. My gosh. I believe we have a moment of respite before their assault continues. I'm so glad we have a moment of respite. As you encounter and defeat more lieutenants, you will learn more about how they affect the battlefield. I swear he says lieutenants instead of lieutenants, but anyway. And what you can do to expose and exploit Polish? their individual weaknesses. They all have at least one. Okay, if there's really this many assaults going on in the Prancing Pony, it can I believe burn. we are nearing the end of this battle. Defeat this there's assault too many and we will be free once on more. Thing. Here they come! Oh my gosh, they're coming. Not the herb. Freelancer, what's up? Oh crap, the other direction. Bye. They have been vanquished. Near the major locations of Middle Earth, you will find skirmish camps. Bree, Rivendell, and Thorin's Hall, to name a few. There you can barter your skirmish marks for new and better soldier traits and gear and equipment for yourself. How about that? Safe travels, my friend. Perhaps we will meet again in another skirmish. Hello. Um... Yeah, I think we'll do the warrior. That goes with a brawler pretty well. I don't think a brawler would have an archer going pew pew from the background. Like, that just doesn't fit the character at all. Not at all. Um, no, social panel's not what I wanted. Doom of Karas Galebrin. Is this one of the skirmishes? Determined to possess the great rings of power, Sauron made war upon the elves and led his vast armies to Aragion to lay waste to Karas Galebrin. What a meanie. Determined to possess the great rings of power, Sauron made war upon the elves and led his vast <laughs> armies right, to Aragion to lay waste to Karas Galebrin. I guess this is a skirmish. All right, let's go. It is as we feared. The enemy walks among his servants at last. I am told that he still guises himself in the form of Antheron, but the evil in his heart struggles to conceal itself upon his visage. 
Sauron has ceased the attack for but a moment, but it will not be long before his forces are upon us again. Defend against the forces of the enemy and keep them from breaching the inner gates of Karas Galebrin. Fall back if you must, for we cannot bear the loss of any more of our warriors. In the meantime, I shall prepare our final defenses within the walls. If the time should come that the enemy himself breaches the city, we shall make our stand there upon the very steps of the house of Myrdam. Hearken to me, warriors! This day we stand in defiance of Sauron himself! Oh, we shall crap. cast the enemy from our city once and for all! Oh, he, he gone. You can feel the emotion in his face. Let's go. Oh. Hopefully this was the right way. Oh crap, not this way at all. Goodness. Oh crap! I hope we didn't do that. <laughs> oh jeez. Did I do that? Cut. We got too close. Hey, Caliber Boar. Fancy meeting you here. He's so happy. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're all quite happy. The fools. Dang, this is gonna be epic. If we ever make it back. Oh goodness. Swimming? Oh my gosh. We're never gonna make it back. How many elf lifetimes does it take to get to where we're going? Gosh, I don't think this is the way. I don't know the way. Well. Moral of the story is don't advance too far or you'll die. And then uh, sad things will happen. Alright, this seems promising. Die on me, buddy. Whew. I guess that's the watchtower. Holy wargs, Batman. No, that's not a wog. Not a wog at all. Jeez. From the west as well. Let's go ahead and fight this one. Bye. He's just big. Yay, he fell to our mighty below. Hold fast. Oh, 
Hey. And you got bats? Been a brief episode, but it won't be long before they resume the attack. Gosh. Just fall back. But who watches the watchtower? A good question, Zinga. I guess the enemy? Wait, are we going the wrong way again? But it literally told us to go this way. Gosh. Jeez, I guess if you don't fall back, you, you die. So nice, we get to keep everybody that falls back with us, potentially. That'd be pretty cool. We must hold the gate from the un unseeable orcs that I'm sure are just out there to kill us all. So many orcs. Goodness, how could we stand against so many? It's just easy mode, oh my gosh. Shadow expands. All oh, that. This mechanic. Gosh, we were stuck there for a second. They have Sauron's way too close. I can't help but the or ranged orcs don't come over here. Not my fault, game. Kinda sucks so far. There's no storm on Methodus. It's a lot of trolls. Pretty awesome for sure. Yeah, for sure. Some serious Star Wars vibes. Gate walls shall hinder them. to the south. Right so 
such a long way. Why would you design a skirmish like this? Oh my gosh. For the win! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh crap, it's not even over here. I was like, surely the enemies must come at some point? But no, no, they do not. Well, there we go, plus 20% run speed, let's go! Go. Held him off the gate so far, but I don't think it will last. The enemy knows we have no escape. Concerned foe. Time to make our stand. Let's go. Here we go. Alas for Caras Galebri. Alas for the Myrdine. forces have renewed their assault! Most to the front! Karas Galebrin must not fall! Here we go, big stand, big stand, Ponton, what's up? Let's go. It says do 
gonna allow Celeborn to be defeated. All the others don't matter. But if Celeborn dies, oh boy. Did I say Celeborn? I meant Celebrimbor. Celebrimbor. With your rings. Let's go. I like how the little guys are like, yeah, I'm gonna rest a little bit. They got this. It's fine. It's fine. Gosh, multiple battle horns. What has the world come to? Shoot the troll! Yeah. Missed the troll there, oh well. The spear thrower. Yeah, our warrior got the troll, good deal. Warrior and friends. Servants of the Deceiver. Oh my gosh, that's a crazy deed. Assault. The forces of the enemy return. My gosh. Any day now, we shall defeat them. Let's go. Right here. An orc in the bush. Half orc, half bush. Oh, sorry.
go, there we go. Hold back the orcs! Do not allow them one step further into our city! He's gonna be severely disappointed. Saying those orcs are getting their steps in today. One of Sauron's champions approaches! Oh crap. Let's see him. <clears throat> Will your blood stay near for as long as one of your wretched lives? <laughs> Praise that it does. All oh, that you were will be forgotten. None may defy my master and live. To my side, maggots. Tremble before me. Yeah, so Nothing scared. shall remain of this city but dust. Punch his ankles. We done did it. We have stood fast in the face of the enemy, but this respite will not last. Sounds circles have encircled Kalas Karebrin, and Charles we might, the armies of Gilgalad and Elrond have not been able to pierce them and come to our aid. I weep for all those we have lost, and I pray that our sacrifices were not in vain. Let us hope that Gilgalad and the others shall soon arrive, or all will be lost. All oh, is crap. lost, Celebrimbor. Oh, but crap. with your aid, I may yet find what I seek. You! You need not guise yourself in a fair form any longer, Sauron. Holy Why crap. still do you wear the face of Anthuron? Cheeto Bandito, what's up? There's some. That you might look upon the face of a friend one last time, Celebrimbor. All of the elves make war against you. What you have done this day will not go unanswered. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> It matters not. I have wrought an army greater than any in this world since the age of Morgoth. Do you not see? All of your trials and all of your failures were of my design. Your city will be unmade and your people slain to the last. When at yeah. last your will is broken, you will surrender the rings of power. The Valar have abandoned you. 
I am all that awaits you, Calabrimbo. Dang. <laughs> to me, I beg you. You must go. Flee by secret ways. Lead the others north. And do not look back. That's how it ends? Oh my gosh. I don't feel very victorious. <laughs> like, yay, we won, but we still lost. Also, geez, Sauron. Sauron in the Shire looking for Baggins. Goodness. <laughs> Sarkvorn, the Black Grave? What the heck? Does it still tell you like how you unlock stuff? I guess not. Sheep are even at the skirmish camp? Bree Jail. Looks like we're going to Bree too. Let's go down to the Stable Master first. Shush. What do you need? Let's see. Hobbiton's kind of out of the way. Alright, field trip number two for realsies this time. Here we go. It's still raining, there's still sheep everywhere. Now we're on our way to do the Brawler quest. We might just travel there and call it a night. I'm getting a little tired. Or we might go ahead and do it. I don't know. We'll see how I am when I'm there. I was up till like 4 a.m. last night working on my YouTube video. So a uh, little tired. Little details like the flags and stuff, I miss stuff like that. Ocho used to have a lot more personality. A lot more attention to like the little things. We jumped up off our horse and then then the drowning sound happened. To breathe or not to breathe? That is the question. Hello. Hello.
Oh, we've been to Breland. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the whole other stuff. I really wish Wildwood would have been its own separate zone and they hadn't changed the Bree map to look like this nonsense. I really don't like it. I've been thinking a lot about getting into Guild Wars 2 as well. I tried out that game once and uh, really enjoyed it. But then Lotrio had a huge update or something and I never got back in. And I miss it so much. Part of the problem is the, the story in that game, you have to actually play through it or it goes away forever. Like, you have to play through it when it comes out. Because they change the world and stuff, and then it goes away. And then you're lost in their story, and you don't know what's going on. need nearly to breathe of course they want us to go to South Bree A little bit further. Greetings. Have you come to heed the summons to war? No, no, I really haven't. I don't need to do your missions. Already getting enough XP anyway. It was at the Bree Jail. Oh my gosh, we passed it. Since when did they add a door on the Bree Jail? Goodness. I don't remember that at all. you are. This will be a good test for the both of us. We brawlers have something of a reputation. Folk say we were 
so blah, 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 English. Folks say where there's... That sounds like another word. Where there's trouble, you're likely to find one of us making things worse. Well, I say that's unfair. Some of the time we make things better, don't we? Ah, we do, we do. <laughs> Whisper has reached my ears of such an occurrence. There's a man here in Bree who goes by the name of Derwent. Bindweed. And he's been a bit of a tight spot. Find him outside the Bree jail. And help him as you can. Seems to me his trouble could best be solved with a bit of skillful brawling. And mayhap you'll show the naysayers something of our true quality. You're bound to learn something, too. And what brawler doesn't like a bit of extra oomph to go with every swing? Oh my goodness. We get battle gauntlets. Which are worse than what we already got. But it's okay. I am at your service. Why do they still have, like, a trainer? For brawlers, that's kind of hilarious. Greetings, traveler. Oh my goodness! All right. Well, hopefully everybody had a good time tonight. No, I did. That skirmish was pretty cool. Nice to see different things. A big thanks to Mr. Mustafa for the raid. And let's see. And I think we'll just end off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Peace!